Let me tell you something about police work for a change. Let me tell you something real quick. Anybody in here ever get a speeding ticket? Yeah? Really? You know why you got it? Because you deserve it. <laughs> right? You guys don't listen. The speed limit says 55. That's what it says. That's the limit. Oh, officer, don't they allow you five miles? No! <laughs> Where does the sign say 55, but if your favorite song come on the radio, go on, take five ball for yourself. They don't say that. 55, that's what it says on the sign. Ain't 55 with a little winky emoji on it, 55. No, it's 55. You go to the mountains, you get on the edge of the mountain, the sign say, this is your limit. You don't go, hey, let's take five more steps. And if you get a ticket, just pay the ticket. Pay the ticket. Don't try to bribe the officer. I've had guys offer me cash. I had a guy offer me cocaine. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yeah, that's real smart. <laughs> Don't pay a $150 ticket. Go to jail for two years. How about that? That's a good trade-off. I had a person once say to me, I'll show you my breasts if you let me off the ticket. I was like, uh, uh, listen, no, no, sir, you don't have to do that. I just. <laughs> you can leave, but no. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, let me tell you guys something about police on the inside police work. Sometimes you'll see two officers working together, they don't always get along. You know, I've had some bad partners. I had this one partner, I hated that guy. All he do is yell at me, don't touch the log sheet, don't touch the radio, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, don't touch anything, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Then he'll go back and tell the captain, Jordan just sits there, he won't touch the log sheet, won't touch anything. Yeah. Officer Tucker was his name. Tucker the, well, Tucker, we'll leave it there, I just Tucker. <laughs> so one day me and Tucker get a call and we uh, make an arrest. I'm putting the guy away in the holding cell. Now, when you put a guy away in the holding cell, you take off all your weapons. You take off your primary weapon, take off your secondary weapon, take off your mace, take off everything. You lock it away. That way, there's no accidents when you put them away. So I'm processing the guy. There's a bang on the glass. It's Tucker. Come on, we got to go. We got to go. There's a 211 at Winchell's right up the street. Come on. Now, for those of you who don't know, Winchell's <laughs> is a donut shop in Los Angeles. If you're a criminal robbing a donut shop two blocks from a police station, it's pretty certain we're gonna catch you. <laughs> so he's banging on the glass. Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. So I'm like, I haven't finished process. Come on, come on, we gotta go. So out we go, we run, jump in the cruiser, we head over there. Halfway there, I realize I have no weapons on me. We get to Winchell's just as the two guys are coming out of Winchell's. We pull up, Tucker jumps out on the driver's side, pulls his weapon, prones him out. I jump out on the passenger side. I don't have anything, so I just point my finger at him. <laughs> Tucker says, hey, I'm gonna go inside to see if there's any more. You sit out here and you hold these guys here. <laughs> he runs in the windows. I'm sick. Even they're looking at me like, what's going on? It's like, hey, put your head down, put your head down. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Tucker comes out, looks at me. I look at him. He looks at me, he goes, you should take the safety off. <laughs> True story. <laughs> I did a lot of cool things on the job. Coolest thing I ever did was deliver a baby. That is the coolest thing I ever done. You know, this woman, uh, uh, her water broke, and it was cool because I got my name in the LA Times the next day and everything. But this woman, her water broke, and she calls her husband to come get her, and he don't show up. So she tried to drive herself to the hospital, and she panicked and pulled into a 7-Eleven. Somebody saw my cruiser at a red light. Ran, uh, they ran out the street and got me. Had to turn around, come back in, and deliver a baby in a 7-Eleven. Got my name in the LA Times, next day, everything. Let me tell you something. You work for LAPD, they just assume you know how a baby's born. <laughs> they don't show you a video, ain't no puppet show, nothing. <laughs> I ain't never seen no baby born before. I thought a baby would pop out, and maybe even a blanket pop out with him, you know? <laughs> There's a lot of things that come out of there with that baby. <laughs> I thought she was having twins. I was like, you know, uh, mm, one of them looked like you. <laughs> and the little one, you're gonna have to love him special. He ugly, I, 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 oh my God. Oh, 
here's the best part. You'll appreciate this the most, other. And here's the best part. So then when the, when the EMT came and took her to the hospital, when she pulled into 7-Eleven, she pulled into a handicap slot. So I wrote a car, ticket, and had it towed away. <laughs> That's it for me, I gotta get it. Thanks for hanging.